Here's the defense right now. She throws for Ridley, and it's picked off. MJ Emerson's got it again. That's why he get paid the big bucks. Touchdown, it's David Bell. Hey, let's go fantasy. Let's go the next time we get that ball, all right? Good afternoon, everybody, and it's good to be back with you, and it's great to be back inside Cleveland Browns Stadium. And here we are, mid-December, and it's a big game atmosphere as the Browns host the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Nathan, you want to be in this spot, in the hunt, in the playoff hunt as you come down the stretch. We are in the stretch with five to play. We, we knew what this game was going to be about. We knew what type of matchup it was, knew what type of fight it was going to be. We still got to go take care of business and get better and better and better, and that's really my main focus. Browns are five and one at home. Jaguars perfect away from home. Focus is a little bit more narrow for us. We knew that today was not a playoff game, but it's going to feel like a playoff game. Deep in the back, he'll second and three. Play action fake. Flacco throws. It's a middle screen. Ford's got it with blockers. He's to the 40, to the 42, to the 43. Here's Flacco throwing. Slant caught. Cedric Tillman Jr. He's got it. Takes the snap. Drops the throw on the flat. Loops it out. Ford's juggling him, and he caught it. At the 40, at the 35, down to the 34-yard line. He might be just shy of the first down by a yard as he's knocked down by Gregory Jr. Flacco underneath center on third and one. Takes it, turns, boot lays it out to the right. He's got a man wide open. And Joku's got it at the five going in. Touchdown! What a beautiful fake by Flacco. You knew a play action shot was coming and the Chief was wide open, Jim. Hey! Miles, start fast. Receiver left, two to the right, they give it ETN, got hit at the 15-yard line and knocked down. It's J-O-K. Lawrence back in the shotgun. Play clock inside five, he's got the snap on third and three. In the pocket, he's gonna get hit. He runs out, dives, did not get to the first down. And that's exactly the way the Browns defense wanted to start with a three and out. Because when that ball was thrown, it looked like Zay Jones had a step, and MJ Emerson got into another gear coming into this one. Second lowest completion percentage allowed, second lowest quarterback rating allowed when targeted. MJ Emerson's having a Pro Bowl season, Jim. We go to the second quarter. And Browns leading 7 0, Nathan. They'll have it at their own 45. Motion by David Bell off the slot, right to left. Flacco play action fake. In the pocket, he's going down the middle, and Elijah Moore is there, and he caught it inside the Jaguar 35, down to the 33 with Rayshon Jenkins on the tackle. Boy, Joe knew where he was going there. Second and five, Flacco back, looks middle, and Joe's wide open. 20, 15, corner, 10, 5, touchdown, he's got two! And the Browns with 13-40 to go in the half, they lead 13 no rhythm yet from this Jacksonville offense. They have 68 total yards, 23 on the ground. Lawrence underneath center, Ingram in motion, and here's Lawrence back to pass. A lot of time going long for Zay Jones. It's going to be picked off as MJ Emerson's got it. He overthrew Zay Jones, and MJ Emerson made a whale of a catch at the 26 yard line of the Browns. Jim, I really like MJ Emerson. I think he's becoming a star. I, I agree. I Let's go. I thought Coach called a great game. Coach Schwartz did a great job. Those takeaways were absolutely key. Uh, he was aggressive. There were a couple sacks there where we knocked him out of field goal range, so I thought Coach was outstanding today. Takes the snap. Brown's coming after him. They're coming after him. Hey, he's got him. And blowing through is Delpit. And Grant Delpit comes up with a huge sack. Jim Schwartz just said simply, I'm going to bring more than you can handle. There's no one there to pick up Delpit. You're not going to get away from a blitzing Grant Delpit who's got you right there in the pocket. Hey, Jim, our job. Hey, hey, right hey, 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 man. Yes, sir. Hold up, hold up. Yes, sir. That's why he get paid the big bucks. That's a play. Money, Dave. Come on, man. Ball at the five-yard line. That's where the Browns began. Flacco under center. Play action fake. Looks, throws. Cooper caught it at the 15. Out of two tackles, but he fumbled at the 25. Picked 
picked up again by the Jaguars. Running down the sideline is Devin Lloyd, and he's got it inside the Browns' 15-yard line. Two giveaways on the last two possessions, and now you've given the Jags a short field. On second down, Lawrence hooks a pass. End zone, caught by Ingram. Touchdown, Jacksonville. And they cash in off the Cleveland mistake. I do feel like we're doing a lot of good things. Today was a sloppy game. I think you guys can see it and feel it a little bit. We have the ability to really start to get over the hump. You know, you got to give a lot of credit to our defense, the way they played today. The Browns still lead by seven, but Jacksonville is knocking on the door again. First and ten. Lawrence back to pass. He throws for Ridley, and it picked off. They missed the throw, and it's at the ten. MJ Emerson's got it again. And Joku's got two catches for touchdowns. MJ Emerson has two picks. Going nuts. Hell yeah. He's having a heck of a day, isn't he? Second interception, and the coverage has been sticky all game long. Trevor Lawrence takes a knee, the clock will run out, and that is the end of the first half here at Brown Stadium. And the score, the Browns 14, and the Jacksonville Jaguars 7. 14-7, the Browns in the lead. Shotgun snap. It's a handoff, ETN trapped in the backfield, and they're gonna drop him for about a six yard loss. Takes the snap, looks, throws, caught. Parker Washington, the ball is out. The Browns say they have it. They got it, I believe. This defense with its third takeaway of the day. And Kareem Hunt ready to take a direct snap. He takes it, he runs to the left. Fighting for the goal line, he is in! Touchdown, Kareem Hunt! Oh yeah, we need it. And Lawrence has got the snap. Cam Mitchell coming out of left. They got the snap. They got him back on the 15-yard line. Maurice Hurst. Black go to throw again. The ball got hit. That's a loose ball recovered by the Jaguars. I didn't play my best. We turned the ball over a couple times. ETN takes it. He's going to run it wide to the right. Touchdown, Jacksonville. We're going to work hard and we're going to continue to get better. Black go back. Look, throws near side. Had a great catch. Pumps throws. Cooper caught it. Lawrence in the gun, takes the snap, back, looking, he got hit, he runs up, he got hit again, and he's at the five, and he got knocked down at the five-yard line, and it will be the fourth quarter coming up. Time for the fourth quarter at Brown Stadium. Play clock's at five, third down and one from the 15, he wants the ball, he's got it on third and one, he's throwing deep, Greg Newsom's back there, and he picked it off! He's got it at the 50-yard line. They went for Ridley. That's their number zero, and our number zero beat them. Chris, why? Sam you was going to get one. You said you was going to get one. You told you one. You didn't run. Long count. Takes the snap. Short drop. Look, slant. Cooper got it. Inside the 40 down to the 38-yard line to get the first down. The Browns. Had it second down and less than one. And I think they're going to go for it now on fourth down and three. He rolls right. He throws the middle. It's wide open. Down at the 25, at the 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. It's David Bell. Oh, my goodness. They forgot to cover David Bell. It was just one of those plays, you know, where they're bringing pressure and you have to kind of buy a little time, and he did a great job feeling a little soft spot and then making it happen from there. This crowd absolutely loved it. That timeout was like a party here at Cleveland Brown Stadium. Amazing. It is third down and six at the Cleveland 19. Here's Lawrence back to pass, throwing towards the end zone, and a tumbling catch made in the left corner of the end zone by Parker Washington. So it's a seven-point lead. There's no quit in us, and never will be. 
Trevor Lawrence, and the Jags come out down by seven, and they'll have it at their own 20 with 4.24 left to go. He's back to pass, throws to the middle, and it's caught. Cam Mitchell is saying it's incomplete, and now it is incomplete. It's an incomplete pass, incomplete pass, second down. Can the Browns foil him on this? Third and 10, he's got the snap, he's back to pass, he rolls right, he's gonna run it, he's at the 35, he got hit at the 37, and dropped at the 38 yard line, and it's fourth down. They're going for it at least by appearance. They're at the 37 and a half, they need the 40 and a half. 334 left, he takes the snap, he's back to pass, up in the pocket, throws, yes, no good, incomplete! At the 50 yard line for Zay Jones! Broken up by Cam Mitchell and Ronnie Hickman. And the ball goes over on downs to the Browns. That's championship defense right now. The Browns do not move it. And they stop the clock on the incompleted pass. They're going to attempt a field goal. Here comes Dustin Hopkins in for a 55-yard field goal attempt. Now remember, you would give them field position if he misses. This is to set the Browns franchise record for most field goals in a season and most 50-yard makes. Snap back, ball down, Hopkins into an end over end line drive, that kick is up and it is, it's good! It's good from 55 yards away! And the Browns lead by 10! Please tell me it's enough! Let's go eat. It's time, okay? Go in this game for us. Jacksonville right back in it with the touchdown with a minute 33 left, and they're gonna go for two. They're going for two because they think if we can get this, a field goal would win it if we can recover the onside kick here. Waiting on the snap, he's got it, he's back, he's looking, he got sacked, they got him! It's Miles Garrett! Come on! Come on! Come on! You big head, mother... You've got to come out and recover this onside kick. Here we go for the onside kick. He dumps the ball to the right side, the Browns are on it, they got it, they got it on the right side! They recover the ball, as getting it there over there is James Crochet. And the Browns can get into victory formation with a minute 32. And what a long afternoon this has been. We knew we needed to make a statement. That was our intention from, from the jump. You know, we had, we had been, you know, in multiple meetings you know, by ourselves talking about, you know, this, this team goes as we go, and uh, we got to pick it up, and we're going we're gonna to be what takes us, you know, throughout the season and get on this streak that's going to take us to uh, where we want to go. Hey, Phil! 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 Hey, that was not a playoff game. <laughs> but that sure as hell felt like a playoff game. And that's our season from here on out. That's our season. That's this journey that we talked about last night. That's what it is, okay? What I saw was guys that were fighting for each other. That's what I saw, okay? Defensively, four takeaways. Hey! 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 And the kid with two of them, MJ. Yeah. 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 Blessings, blessings. One and oh, man. Good shit today, y'all boys, man. I'm proud how we played. Chicago next week. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 Two, three. Special teams. How about pro recovering that onside? Yeah, yeah. 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 bro. And then the dude comes in. Ice in his veins, 55 yards, no doubt about it. Let's go! Hey, that's what good teams do right there. Stick together, fight adversity. It's not always going to go our way, but who's going to fight the longest, the toughest? That's us. Okay, then offensively, it wasn't always perfect. We don't, hey, we don't have to be perfect. We're looking for our best, but we don't have to be perfect. All right, but three for three on fourth down is pretty damn good, all right? Mm -hmm. That's the story of the game right there. Mm -hmm. The other story is the old man, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm older than him, mm -hmm. okay? <laughs> I have a couple, it's true. <laughs> Joe, let's go. Right, 311, 311 yards, three touchdowns. Woo! Woo! Let's go! Yeah! Hey, coach, coach is right, man. You know, 
I was not, it was not pretty today, and I was not my best, but these are what makes teams, these tough games. You know, you guys earn the right all year to play December football, and that's what we're doing right now, and that's what it looks like sometimes. And then January and February, this is what it's going to be, and to have the, the mental toughness to come through in those types of games, that's what winners made of. So, you know, hey, bring these games on. It's just going to make us better in the long run. I appreciate you guys having me, man. I feel Always. like a 10-year-old kid out there. <laughs>